Hi, I'm James from Chaosium. I sat down with Mike Mason a couple of weeks ago and spoke to him about the upcoming Cults of Cthulhu book. I asked him about portrayals and depictions of the creature Cthulhu inside the Call of Cthulhu role-playing game. I started off the interview by asking him what he was working on at the moment. Take a look. Uh, well, top secret stuff, really. Uh, but I, uh, how about some not top secret stuff I'm currently working on? That sounds um, good. Uh, so I'm working on a book called The Cults of Cthulhu, uh, which is a book written by Christopher Lackey of the HP Lovecraft Literary Podcast uh, and, and myself. Uh, and we've been working together, uh, writing a book all about the Cthulhu cult uh, and how, uh, how that can manifest in games of Call of Cthulhu, uh, the different variations of what the Cthulhu cult is and... Uh, and uh, things like the Deathless Masters and, uh, you know, and all that kind of crazy cool stuff. So it's a, kind of like a source book uh, and it comes with three um, really cool scenarios. Uh, so that's really what I'm currently um, working on at the moment. That's absolutely fantastic. I, I, I think that the, the Cthulhu cult is great because there's so many um, terrifying creatures in the mythos that you sometimes you don't get a lot of time to spend with Cthulhu, uh, you know, <laughs> personally, I suppose. It, it did feel like, though, it was time to actually, um, you know, focus on the guy whose name's on the cover. Yeah. And, um, and so this, this is this is partly toward that, um, that, um, you know, you can build, you know, either one off sessions or whole campaigns, you know, uh, springing out from the Cthulhu court, whether that be setting gaslight the kind of 1920s 30s era through to the modern day and all all in fact are actually covered in this book so it goes across the kind of uh, the key kind of historical settings uh, for the game do you think that there is a theme that unites cthulhu stories or specifically stories about cthulhu the being um well i think the answer is possibly yes and no but um but in terms of like general themes with, you know, great Cthulhu, uh, you know, itself, um, the, you know, the common themes that touch across that kind of being are, are that it, it's, uh, it's kind of dead but dreaming. Um, so um, Cthulhu's dreams, while Cthulhu, you know, very rarely kind of gets up and stretches his wings and has a stroll around, his dreams are constantly kind of flowing out into the other. And um, <clears throat> so we see the theme of, those dreams kind of, um, I guess, infecting, corrupting, and, um, you know, enacting humans and, you know, cultists to, to do stuff. Um, and obviously with the, uh, the ending being, you know, one day Cthulhu will rise, you know, when the stars are right. So we have a kind of a, an end game in, in, in a sense, but we've got a long way to get there until the stars are right, because ultimately every keeper would decide for themselves when the stars are right which could be, you know, millennia away. It could be tomorrow. Um, but that's entirely, you know, your purview as a keep in the kind of game story you want to tell. But I think Cthulhu's dreams, um, you know, that kind of, um, that kind of insidious kind of subconscious infection of people um, that has, that has di very different kind of outpourings. You know, it's a bit like um, Close Encounters of the Third Kind where the, uh, the aliens are, you know, making people, you know, make, um, you know, mountains out of mashed potatoes or drawing them and all that kind of thing. That's the common kind of messages coming through. And so you can see that coming out in like artwork or, or, or scientific work or just this kind of sense of something coming, um, which I think is a, you know, a very, you know, malleable theme um, and one that's can, you know, it can inspire, you know, quite different and radically different kind of stories to enjoy. Oh, absolutely. I know I really enjoyed the mention of a Cthulhu cult in Terra Australis. I thought that was really exciting to see um, that brought in. And I'm really excited about the book. Great. Yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, we're, uh, we're nearly finished. We're, we're just getting a lot of artwork in at the moment. So there's kind of loads of cool new, um, you know, pictures around Cthulhu and the Cthulhu cult and different types of cultists and, um, and some new, uh, well, some new monsters, some new old monsters, some monsters that Lovecraft kind of referred to, but never said much about that. We've kind of like, um, you know, pulled those out and said, well, you know, let's create a, let's create a new monster based on this. It's got some kind of link to Cthulhu. So uh, some, you know, some good stuff in there.